Today, we give you the Generation Y perspective. This is us. My name is Andy Bibowitz. I seek excitement, and this is how I flow. Hi, I'm Emily Hassel. I'm 21 years old. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm the intern in the CNN Idea Lab. My name is Katherine Johnson, and I'm an intern in CNN Network Booking. My name's Sydney Wilmer, and I'm a rising senior at Vanderbilt. I'm also a traveler, a writer, a runner. My name is Tristan Polito. I would love to be in a position where I can always meet new people, work in teams, and collaborate to get stuff done. I'm Lindsay Firestone. I'm from Tampa, Florida, and I go to NYU. Hi, I'm Wen Song Chen. I'm an actor, a photographer, and a filmmaker. Hi, my name is Shana Mortensen, and I thrive on film and photography. My name is Annika Anand, and next year I'll be a senior at UNC Chapel Hill in North Carolina. My name's Kristen, and I go to Georgia Southern University. I have a Huge passion for acting. My name is Ariana Figuera Garcival and I'm from Venezuela. I love to dance and I'm fascinated with traveling. My name is Julia. The way that I tie my three cultures in together is through music and art. Generation Y to me is the rising generation entering the workforce. All of the interns involved in this project are part of this generation. Easy to get along with um, if you know what interests them and what they're looking for. Generation Y has amazing BS detectors. The information age and also the general diversity of our generation. A balance of work and play. The generation of instant gratification. Gen Y loves customization of everything. Gen Y is easily distracted. Just wants to be famous. Generation Y is about change. Fun fact, we're also called the millennials. Generation Y is the narcissist generation. I mean, what other generation would do a whole project about themselves? This project is about what 12 Gen Wires think of Turner Broadcasting. We offer our opinions about TV and online coverage, the use of social media, the workplace environment, and the CNN brand. Here are a few CNN employee and intern comments we want to highlight. I want to hear other people's opinions, but do I really care what um, Peggy from Oklahoma City <laughs> thinks about the Iraq situation? I'm like, mm, no. But at the same time, it's like, it's good to have that connection with your viewers to talk with them to get them to interact to know that you're actually listening and uh, caring about them. The term social networking might seem outdated, but it will be what leads to the next thing. Well, social networking. I think really plays into the social connectors that we're trying to capture. My favorite thing here is the classes. I mean, you can pick up skills at just about anything. You know, it would be great if Turner found ways to, you know, have us interact directly, um, encourage more direct collaborations between the different divisions of the network. Um, CNN definitely is known for being the most trusted name in news. But I also think they should be known for setting the tone as far as what's actually important in the news. I think they also should be trustworthy um, in their views, like non as being a non-biased um, newsmaker company. We've asked questions and listened to your answers. We've blended tradition with innovation to formulate our own opinions. But most importantly, by completing this project, we've gained a deep appreciation for this company and its values. So thank you for teaching us. Thank you, NextGen. Thank you, HR. Thank you, Free Thinking Friday. Thank you, Hannah Gordola, for all of your support throughout this project. Thank you, Chris Dawson. Thanks for all your help, Joy Burton. Thanks, John Patrick, for a great summer. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, David Knuckles. Thank you, Subanda. Thank you, Clever Delgado. Thanks to all the employees and interns who participated in the interviews. Thank you, everyone, for supporting us throughout this project and this internship. Thanks to everyone. CNN. And thank you Turner Broadcasting for a wonderful summer. A lot of us have a lot of different passions and that's going to come out in what we care and that's going to affect the social networks that we make and that's going to affect what we study and that's going to affect what we care to read about and that's, that's going to affect the future. So Generation Y cares. <laughs>